been a few months since we bought our big Sprinter van and began the conversion into our new home on wheels. The plan for this van is to carry us to the sun and an adventure filled life in Europe and beyond. We've so far managed to remove the rear ramp, the unwanted panels, tackle the minor rust, waterproof the trims, install a window, install a max air fan, install a skylight and add a visor. And now we need to get this floor covered. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13 year old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand where I used to work as an underwater cameraman and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Hi folks, welcome back to The Van Project. And I wasn't gonna do anything today, but you all know how the weather in the UK has been for the last, well, you know, year. We've got sun today, it is a Sunday. I was gonna have a day of rest before I go back to work for like six weeks, but I can't, I can't resist. I can't just sit inside and relax while uh, it's sunny outside. So, we're gonna have a look at getting this floor done. And depending how we do for time, we might look at taking this seat out and I'll show you the new one. But first things first, this has clearly been used as a bit of a dumping ground. I've got to clear this out. Now I'm just gonna have to move the van forward a little bit so I can set my trestles up, put the plywood on there, and we can start cutting. Do you remember that seat base from the new seat that John was washing in the last video? I didn't film it, but I've been coming out here on a night and spraying it. John sanded it down. I've also cut out this lovely hatch in the back. This is gonna be an amazing shoe compartment in the future. But for now, I'll push it out of the way so I can use my workshop. So the plan is, I am gonna use the old floor, which I've still got out the back in two pieces, as a template on top of here, and then I will just add the extra bits that I need. I'm gonna to have to run in the van and mark up where all the battens are on the wall with a pen or a bit of tape, so then when it comes to screwing this down, I'll know where I'm screwing. So the pen wasn't staying very well on that foil, so I've used tape instead. I have dropped in this half of the old floor and I've been painstakingly measuring, marking, adding bits, cutting bits off, and I think I've figured it out well enough to get the first part put onto a piece of ply for a template. Let's do it. In case you can't tell, John's not feeling his best today, but uh, he's come out to help anyway. I didn't tell him to, he just wanted to. So full John points to him.
first one in. I'm happy with that. Let's get some more done. So far, so good. Just a bit concerned about the grey clouds, as always. We've got two more pieces to get in there, and we could actually have this done today. Big saw just died. What? The jigsaw just died. How? I don't know. <laughs> I nearly closed the door of the van with you sat there then. Um, I found a second hand one on Facebook Marketplace, dirt cheap, it'll do for now. And just like that, we've got another jigsaw and the sun's come back out. We're gonna finish this today. Uh, I got a cheapy Parkside second hand. It cost nothing, like 20 quid. I don't use jigsaws very often. Obviously, I'm finishing working in about six weeks, so I'm not about to go and buy a nice shiny new Makita or anything like that. Uh, so this'll do, let's do it. <laughs> It's going well, it's going well. We've got one more to do. John's just gonna go and change the battery on the camera. I'm gonna start on that. We might even look at the seat. I really should take a rest, shouldn't I? We might look at the seat. Last one, let's get this done. Up and on. Okay. There we go, mister. I'm going to test it out. Sure. This? Well, that's what the screws are for. Oh, yeah. I am very happy with that. I am so glad I got out of bed and did this today. Um, John's not feeling very well. He's going to go and relax now. I might have to go to Screw Fix and get a box of screws that are the exact right length because we don't want to punch through the uh, floor of the van. Since we haven't made any holes, I'm not going to make any holes. Um, once that's fixed down, Depending on the time, because that's quite time consuming, it's a lot of screws to put in. I'm going to unbolt that seat. John will come and help me just quickly lift it out, and I think we'll have the new seat in. Certainly in this video, I promise you, you get to see the new seat. I promise you. Right, I don't know if you can see with the camera. I have put a whole bunch of pencil lines where my battens are, a bit painstaking. I have been to Screw Fix and got a whole bunch of correct size screws. 35 millimeter. The thickness of the ply plus the batten is about 40 millimeters. So that'll be perfect. It's not gonna to go too far and penetrate the metal. I am now gonna painstakingly put about, I don't know, 100, 150 screws in. Who knows? Who's counting? Let's just do it.
that took just over 50 screws to do that one panel. It might be overkill, but I like overkill. I want strength <laughs> and stability. Problem is, 200. Oh, there's 200 in this pack. So if I'm averaging 50 screws a sheet, I don't think there'd be as many in some of the others as there was here. <laughs> you don't want to watch me put all these screws in, do you? This is taking ages. Now, look, I'm going to get back to you when it's all done, okay? Done. Done, 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 done. Brilliant. I'm so happy I did this today. I'm having the seat out. Time's running out, but I don't care. I'm doing it. I've got the energy. We've got the sunshine. I'm making the most. Right. I've already disconnected the battery. Now we just got to pop that open. Oh, we've got some nice carpet in here. Isn't that lovely? I've got one, two, three bolts in there to sort out. And four around the back. And that thing will just pop out in a heartbeat. Let's do it. Now the ones in here. Oh, stiff. Oh. Mm. Why is the really, really hard one always the last one? Right, I think I'm going to hoover out in here before I pull it out. It's just going to drag dirt everywhere. And we just need to disconnect this little fella. How's that come out? Did it on Sally's. I must be able to do it on this one, surely. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go, there we go. You on this side, me on this side. Up onto here. Oh, then I need to detach the seat. But let me just see what's getting stuck underneath, if anything. I need to take that seat belt off there. And uh, that. It's sticking on, so there we go. Right. So this will slide back over there now. The cardboard, usually it's like slide the cardboard. Ooh. And that's kind of where Ella's seat's gonna be. Oh, sorry. I've left you all the way up there, haven't I? Come and have a look at this. Come and have a look at this. Now that is when it shows that I get what I pay for. For those of you who've been here since the beginning of buying this van, you'll remember that I paid a little more than I wanted to, quite a lot more than I wanted to. So I wouldn't have to deal with rust and problems, too much rust. I've had some bits of spots of rust to deal with. But if you were watching last week, you'll remember Sally's uh, van. Oh, sorry, not last week, week before. Sally's van when we took the seats out. Sorry, Sal, if you're watching, but you know it. Um, she had a couple of little rust spots under there to deal with and a lot of dirt. But that has just taken me two minutes to clean up and I'm ready to try this seat base. I'm so excited. Right, I found them. Resistors. Now, if you've watched the video with Sally's van, you'll remember that we need these to fool the seat, uh, sorry, not full the seat, full the van into believing that that double seat is still connected. Um, so all we do is we put one of these and create a circuit and that fools the van and we don't get any warning lights on the dash. So I will leave a link for these down below if you like. Um, I think I found them on Amazon. Anyway, link down below. Now I only need one, but I am going to keep the spares in the glove box this time so I know where they are. Not that I'm going to need them again. And that simply plugs in there. And creates a lovely little circuit. And I'll bend it over. Wrap something around it. Maybe a bit of... Uh, I can't be bothered now with heat shrink, but I'll uh, I'll pop a bit of tape around it. I'll find some something. 
we will go with heat shrink. That looks like a good fit. Okay, so we've got that on there and I can just uh, do this. That's got that held solid. That's not going anywhere. So for now, I'm just gonna chuck it loosely in there. I've even got this to go on the side of here. It's time to put the seat in. Then I'm gonna tidy up. Then I'm gonna get Ella and see what her thoughts are on it. Cause that's always entertaining, isn't it? Hopper, hopper. That's good and tight, seatbelt. Be safe. Hoppa. Right, this plastic trim is just hanging off at the moment. I just need to put a screw in it at the back. That's that's acceptable. Uh, maybe I should have got John to stay. Okay. Nearly there, can you see there? Just getting these bolts on. Push that back like that. One there. Come on, last one, don't let me down. Oh, it's always the last one. Final tweak at the back. Good, and good, <laughs> and that's it. God, it looks a lot higher than the driver's seat, doesn't it? Oh, is that just because of the way it, hang on. Making the adjustments, making the adjustments, putting it down, putting it down, down as, Far, that's as far as it goes. Sort the backrest out a bit. <laughs> Brilliant. That's it. Now, we are not having double seats here. I'm gonna do a single, I want more space. But that's effectively how it's gonna be. Except a single seat there. They're for sale. Who wants them? Come and get them. Right, I'm just gonna clean these tools up and then we'll go and get the kids and let's let them rummage around and see what they think to it. Whoa. John? Yeah. Whoa. Has that been fixed out? <laughs> yeah, it's ready. Oh, cool. Apart from that, I just need to fix this thing on. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize that. How cool's that? Wait, I wanna try. You can go in the back and can walk through. Come on then. John, why don't you try those ones? Remember they're not fixed down. Yeah. Is that good, oh Al? God. That, that's not going to be that seat. I'm going to get a single seat there, okay? Yeah. Because that's too big. What's that, mate? It's fixed down. Yeah, it's fixed down, it's working. You can slide backwards and forwards, everything. Just kind of get the feeling of it, though. No, that's up and down, isn't it? Clearly. Also, Al, have you seen the floor? Yeah. We've no. got a whole new floor. I know, I've seen it. Come on, sit in the front. Oh, whoever, who's sitting in the front and who's sitting in the back? I'm going to... Sit in the front. Oh. Right, you have a seat back there, John. Right, we're driving along. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm quite thirsty. John, can you go and get me a drink out of the fridge? Yeah, sure. Grab his drink. I'm going to That's your karma. <laughs> Are you okay? That was quite a thump. <laughs> Sorry, horrible parent. <laughs> I'm just laughing at you. Uh, what about swapsies? John in the back, Ellen in the here? Sure. So when we're on the road sometimes I might say, I'm getting bored of John. Elle, come and sit with me for a bit. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, you'll be sat over on that side. That's how it'll be. Isn't that nice, nice there? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Hi. All the way over there. Hi. Hi. It's good, isn't it? Yes. I absolutely love it. It just changes everything. Hi, baby. Hi. Right, I'll tell you Hi. what. John, come and sit there. 
Ow. <laughs> oh, that's something to learn, isn't it? Right, folks, it's obvious how excited we all are about getting the van to this stage. It's just transformed it. It changes everything, doesn't it, kids? Mm -hmm. Being able to walk through there is just amazing, amazing. I'm going to be going back to work now for about six weeks, so I don't know how often the videos are going to be released. I will try and do one a week. It might be one a fortnight, if that. I'm going to be doing some wiring on the evenings, maybe, and a bit on the weekends. Just depends how much energy I've got. But otherwise, thank you all so, so much for watching. I've really enjoyed making this video and doing this job today. It's just brilliant. Big shout out to uh, all the Patreons. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and share. That would be fantastic. We're going to see you all next time. Bye bye.